Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be showing you another black and white or limited palette um, painting tutorial. So we're going to be working on another landscape and it'll be more of my intuitive style like I've been doing in the past with some trees and just lots of foliage. I'm not quite sure where this is going to lead yet, but I just want to go over the brands of paints and the colors I'm using today and the brush I'm going to start off with. And before we do that, this is a 16 by 20 primed canvas. Um, it's a stretched canvas, so it's wrapped, gallery wrapped, and I've done one coat of acrylic white gesso just to prep the canvas. Um, this will help take the paint better and help the color stay nice and uh, bright. Even though we're just using black and white, still I want that contrast and that depth to stay there and not get lost and dull into the canvas. Um, and the gesso also helps to make the surface a little smoother for my brush strokes. So we're going to be using, I've just got a looser craft black paint that I'm using today. And this is folk art. And I just got this at Michael's. And then I've got my, <laughs> a big, big jar or tub of my titanium white. Just because I go through so much white that I buy it in bulk now like this. And this is Liquitex Basics Acrylics. Because I'm working on a large canvas, um, I like to use these large brushes and this is a three inch chalk round paintbrush. You can get these at Walmart, Michaels, Amazon. Um, you can find them at the craft section at Michaels or de department stores in the paint section. So like Home Depot or Arona or someplace like that um, where people get these to paint their furniture with chalk paint. But they're also really, really nice to use uh, for acrylic paintings. So I'm just going to get my brush a little bit wet. I'm going to make the canvas a little bit slick by applying a very thin coat of water. You don't want it to be dripping at all. Otherwise, that means you have way too much water. So you just want to test it and it feels a little bit damp. That's how you know that it's ready to take the paint. So what I want to do is start with a little bit of black. And I'm just going to line up below halfway. This will make for more of a dramatic perspective. So I'm gonna pull back and forth. Nice, long, sweeping strokes. And then I'm gonna work my way up a little bit. This is where my color is gonna to start to fade out. So see the difference here? I had a little bit more water on this side of the canvas compared to this side. So that's a really good example to show you how much easier and smoother the paint will spread when your canvas is a little bit slick from a bit of water. When it's drier like this, it's gonna be a bit tougher. I'm gonna take some white now and I'm gonna start right about here and just work back and forth And then I'm going to go slightly over, slightly over the black down here too, to start to make a dark, dark charcoal gray. I'm going to apply more white paint now. The next brush that I want to use is a fan brush. This one's, uh, what number is this? It's a number eight. And I'm going to take some white, just wiggle around to load up my brush. And I just want to start creating some clouds. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to use a fan brush for this just so that you see that you can make some really neat looking clouds using different brushes, such as a fan brush like this. Take a little bit more white 
and just start lifting and scooping and swooping up on an angle. We'll start over on the left side. Little scoops come down. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And now what I'm gonna do is take a large flat brush. This is a number 12. I'm gonna get my brush a little bit wet. And I'm just gonna to start to pull and sweep to give this a soft, very soft background. Just soften up all the edges on these clouds. And I'm going to take a little bit more paint on my brush. And what I'm going to do is just start pulling and flicking to create the illusion of some sun rays. Just going to take the corner of my brush and start wiggling the little top, little peaks for some little clouds that come right down here. And then we can continue to add. As many sun rays or as few as you like. I'm going to take a little bit more black. I'm just going to come down here and create a little mountain range. So just with black and kind of wiggling, lifting up, making little bumps on the top and then pulling down. Then on the top, just the excess black paint left in my brush, and then I cut just in between where those sun rays are, and add just a little hint of shadows. On a clean brush or white paint. I'm going to do another layer. And then I'm just going to come over the top Kind of just outline these mountains with a little bit of this soft white. I'm going to come down below here. Do some soft ripples in the water using more white.
And I'm gonna take a round brush. This is a number two. I'm gonna get it wet. And then I'm gonna go into my white. A little bit of watered down white. And then I'll just kind of come in here and add a few little wiggles for some breaks in the clouds. Just want to soften them up always a little bit because we do have those sun rays up there, right? So it's going to look a little, it should look softer and hazier. So just by rolling and twisting my brush and kind of dragging at the same time. I'm going to come down in here and start adding some foreground and some foliage. So I'd like to use my filbert brush, my number 12 filbert brush first. Again, just make sure it's a little bit damp. So I'm going to take some black and I'm going to start to bring this out. So I'm going to start right here and go on a curvy angle like this. I'm going to fill this in black. And we can bring this up just a little bit higher. And then I'm going to leave a bit of a space in here. Come in like this. I'm going to wash my brush off. So it's washed and dried, and I'm just going to wiggle right underneath like this, just wiggle and loosen off some of this paint. Gently pull and flick. And then just soften over it. We get a few different tones and layers in there of gray. It's sort of a mountain range in here. Then down below here, we could take a little bit of white and just turn my hand like this and then kind of just push, start wiggling. Make it look like some waves coming up on the shore. A little bit of water on my brush, not too, too much. We'll come right up here. Load the brush up again. Keep doing this wiggle. You can either pull this way or you can pull this way to make it look like the waves coming up on the shore like that, up over the sand. And you can kind of make it look like it's going up on a slant as well with the direction if you want to pull up like this or just pull straight across.
I like to just line my brush up here with a little bit more paint or the paint that I've added on the edge right here and just pull and flick off. So we've got a little bit here and then we'll just choose a few areas and then to make it look like it's farther away, I'll just bring a little bit like this and pull. some more sun rays now. Bring some of these out a little bit more. Make some of them brighter. Move my brush up a little bit more. To pick up a little bit of black and I'm going to come in this way. Add a little bit more depth in the water, more shadow. Could add a few rocks as well. Just a little bit of black like this, a few different sizes. Have just a little group of them. A little shadow, a little bit of black around them. And then a little bit of white. We've got a little bit of that sea foam. Gonna scum a little bit of that leftover white paint. I'm gonna take one of my Princeton oval mop brushes. This is a one inch. And I'm gonna take a little bit of black first, just tap lightly like this. And I'm just going to come right up here on the side of the mountain and start adding a little bit of foliage like this. Then a little bit of white. And we can add little bits of highlights in here.
and soften the base. I'm gonna go back to my round brush, get a little bit of white on there, and just gonna very lightly start to make little loops and little veins and lines to create that look of water a little bit more. So you can do lots of little, little circles. You can do just those little lines that you get. And a little bit in and around here. We can add a little bit more white in here and come in over the clouds and add some little peaks and little windows of light right in here, little pockets of light everywhere. And I think that one, I wanna make that light gray again. I brought that down a little bit too far. I'm just gonna go in like that and redo that one. Just want to add one, one or two more rocks right in here. Or three. I feel like I just need a little something else right down here. And then I'll just come around with a little bit of white. It's up to you if you want to outline them or not. As long as they show up from the rest of the water. So this is a little tropical. I think maybe we should add some palm trees in here. So maybe we'll have some just start to swoop out here. And then have maybe a larger one. I think there's a larger one here, and then maybe it's smaller and smaller. As they go down the beach, that'll help create that perspective. So then starting from the center, you're just going to pull and flick out. Now they're in silhouette, so we don't have to do too, too much detail. If you want to add a little bit of a highlight, you can make a light gray color. Or maybe just add a little bit of something like that. I 
I'm just going to use my little filbert brush, get it wet, and kind of just wiggle in here, load up my brush with some black paint, and just do some little flicks like this. For some palm leaves. Not really going to see those ones way down there. So we can just do a few little lines. And then just by taking a little bit of white, holding my pinky steady in the canvas right here, and just do little pulls and flicks like that for the tree trunk. And if you want it. If we wanted, we could do a little bit of a highlight, just wiggle into our white, make a light grayish color. want to have a little bit of a break around these rocks so I'm going to come in and add little subtle highlights here a little bit of light gray And take a little bit more black now. Just bring out this horizon line a little bit better. Very thinly adding dry brush layer of black. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for this one today. I hope that you learned a lot and got inspired. Give this video a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time really soon in another video. Bye everybody.